So um, then we sent out the um, so-called appointment tape uh, where they were asking him, you know, who's going to succeed you and all those things. Uh, what happens after you go? And then I was explaining it in ways to show that it was nothing new. It was the same philosophy that Prabhupada had already always been preaching. For example, they asked, um, after you go, uh, forget the exact words now, but I have it all on my computer. After you go, um, then who will do what? So Gurudev said, uh, sorry, Prabhupada said, um, sometimes I get them mixed up because Guru is one and heart is the same. So uh, Prabhupada said, Amara Gyai Guru Hantar Eidesh. That is, uh, take the teachings of Krishna as they are in Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, and other scriptures, and give this to the people of your land, and thus become a bona fide guru. So then, when I saw that, Prabhupada was telling the devotees who were there, Satsrut Maharaj, and a few other devotees that were there, Tamal Krishna Maharaj. So then I went, okay, let's see what this verse means. So I went to the verse in Rai Ramanan Sambad, and Rai Ramanan Sambad, no, it's in uh, the story of when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to the house of Kurma Brahmana. And within that history, it's there. Um, and, and the purport says one should uh, preach the message, share the message of Krishna consciousness as it is, without any interpretation. Uh, and thus one should become a guru in his neighborhood and his land. And then it said, first one should become a first class devotee, and then one should become guru. First class devotee means like top of the majimas and um, into Uttama. And the first class guru is, of course, Uttama. So, and a Majima becoming Uttama, he can also be Guru. But then, uh, because Majima, Majima Adhikari, he makes four distinctions. He knows who is, he, he treats as his superiors those who are higher than him in Prema Bhakti. He shares with those who are equals. He instructs those who are subordinate and he uh, uh, ignores or avoids, neglects those who are against bhakti. So if one actually gets a uttam majjima, or rather majjima uttam, majjima on the highest platform, then uh, when, if the disciple happens to meet, because it's very rare to meet an uttama adhikari guru, Gurudeva was explaining this, I think on the first day that he was here in Italy. Um, so then when the, Krishna will make arrangements that he be comes Krishna conscious, Krishna will make arrangements that some Uttama Adhikari will come and then the um, either in this life or the next life and then that Majima will very happily bring his guru or send his guru to that Uttama Adhikari. So, um, why did I say that? What was the... Uh, it started in the question. Uh, Right, exactly. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> right. So and that started with the, with the gurus were never, guru never negative. appointed. So here's somebody coming along who also says that Prabhupada appointed him. Uh, Shulanarayan Maharaj uh, often tells the story that in Prabhupada's last days, um, when he was in Mathura, Srila so Prabhupada was in uh, um, Vrindavan at Krishna Balaram Mandir and he had the GBCs pick up Gurudev in a car and bring him and then he had he told Gurudev to sit on his bed with him and Prabhupada was weeping uh, and Gurudev said you're my Shiksha Guru, I consider you as great as my Diksha Guru, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Goswami Maharaj who is Prabhupada's sannyas Guru and they have a lovely relationship, which is a whole other topic. And so I can't sit on your bed. So Prabhupada had the devotees bring a chair and had Gurudev sit on a chair next to the bed. And Prabhupada took Gurudev's hand and put it in his own hand and began weeping. 
and he said, I brought so many monkeys. Uh, he, he spoke in Bengali, and the word for monkey is banara, which I heard myself on the tape. Leches and yavanas, and I've trained them as far as possible according to their ability to be trained. Now I'm, my Prabhu is calling me, I'm asking you to continue my mission and help my followers. So, um, also, Guru doesn't need appointment above and beyond all that. Prabhupada writes in his purport in the second chapter of Majulila, when um, Rupa and Sanatan Goswamis are getting the mercy of all the Vaishnavas, like an initiation from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And in one of the purports on the same page, pages, Prabhupada writes that um, the spiritual master, the Acharya, is self-effulgent. And those who speak against him, um, they are called Kali Chela, or disciples of Kali Yuga. So, on one hand, Prabhupada ordered Gurudev to continue his mission. On the second hand, Guru doesn't need to be appointed. Was Haridas Thakur appointed? Was Rupa Goswami appointed? Who appointed him? Who appointed Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur? And who appointed his Guru? Um, so, uh, what is he saying? So, who is. Somebody asked Prabhupada, a reporter asked Prabhupada, and this is written in his um, magazine, the last magazine that came out just after Prabhupada's disappearance. A lot of Prabhupada's last statements were there. Mm -hmm. So the reporter asked Prabhupada, who will succeed you? I, I'm getting a couple of words wrong, but the essence is, who will succeed you in the Hare Krishna mission? So Prabhupada quoted the song that we sing every morning, um, Guru Maka Padma Vaikya Chitte Te Koriya Aikya. Whoever is following the previous authority, he becomes the next authority. So it's up to the individual person. We don't fault anybody. It's up to the individual soul, according to, to our karma, our sun scars, our either offenses in our last life or our uh, good devotional services for many, many lives, um, how we understand Prabhupada's books and who we choose as a guru, and how we understand uh, who Prabhupada desires to be his uh, successor. Does that help? Anything left on that? Any holes that I left? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Well, the tension, what do I see as the future? Yeah. Well, what we have been seeing is that Prabhupada is a genius. And he has set up a system with his temples, with the, the Krishna stores and everything, of bringing people into reading his books, chanting Hare Krishna, becoming vegetarians, seeing the deities, and so many wonderful things. So, whenever a person is, uh, from, from doing all that and his own life's experiences, as individuals, people come to Srila Narayana Maharaj to help them further their relationship with Srila Prabhupada and Radha and Krishna. It's been an individual basis, not an institutional basis. Uh, I'm a conditioned soul. I can't see the future as far as the tension of the institution. But I, what I have been seeing is individuals and groups of friends coming. And I see a continuance of that just like so many ISKCON devotees are here at Guru Day's festival, at every one of his festivals. And it's normal, and it's natural, and it's yeah. not one family yeah. as we see it. 